Today we're making a cucumber kiwi gazpacho that's an antioxidant rich soup that will become your new favorite poolside treat. So to begin we're going to cut up some tomatoes. Now normally gazpacho that comes from Spain is a tomato based soup. But the reason I'm using kiwis is because I love the tart flavor of kiwis. Also, kiwis happen to be absolutely bursting with vitamin C. So we're just going to use the tomato here as a garnish on top. So that's why I'm just rough chopping it. I'm not going to actually add it into the soup until the very end. But I still wanted to include tomatoes in this dish because tomatoes are high in lycopene. So I'm trying to get as many antioxidant rich foods into the soup because this is the perfect thing to have in the summer when you get a lot of exposure to sun. I actually call it my internal sunscreen. Because things like lycopene and vitamin C are what helps your body to repair itself after you've been in the sun all day. So next we'll take a look at our kiwis. And I remember in the 80s when I first tasted kiwis how unusual I thought they were. But now you can find them in almost any local grocery store. And they have sort of a sweet tart flavor. So they're perfect with things like tomatoes which are sweet, the spicy tang of vinegar which we're going to add. And I'm just scooping this out with a spoon. Now this is the easy part. Everything from this point in just goes right into the blender. So this is really a delicious no cook raw dish that almost anyone can make. You don't need any cooking experience at all to make this. Now if you're interested in learning more about the raw diet, raw diet is basically where people eat mostly plant food uh, and they don't cook their food above 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And I actually tried the raw diet when I was getting my yoga certification. And one of the things I always suggest to people is to make sure that you start out light. So maybe you have a cooked breakfast, cooked lunch, and then do a raw dinner. Just so that your body can become accustomed to eating more raw foods. But this meal is actually appropriate for someone who's on a raw diet. So just because your friend eats raw doesn't mean that you can't invite them over for dinner. Because you can make this super soup for them in just minutes. So now we're cutting up an English cucumber. I like the English cucumbers because they tend to be a little bit more crisp, but really you can use any type of cucumber in here that you like. You can just rough chop this. We'll add that to our blender. And next I want to add some ingredients that are going to give this dish a little bit of spice and bite. So I have a hot chili pepper here. You can use a jalapeno if you like. I happen to have a red hot chili. Now the fiery stuff is in the seeds and in the membrane inside, so I'm going to leave that in. But you can control the amount of heat by how much seeds and membrane, that's that white part right here, that you add into the blender. Now typically when they make this in Spain, they usually do a sweet pepper, like a green bell pepper or red bell pepper. And of course, if you want to leave the heat out completely, by all means, go ahead and use those. So now we're going to put in some celery. And you might have noticed that most of these foods I'm using are all super hydrating. So that's another reason why this is a great thing to take to the pool, to the beach. It's something that you can even put in a sippy cup. So you don't have to worry about bringing any silverware. And next I'm going to add some onion just for a little bit of bite. And onions also have antioxidants that are sulfur compounds. And they study them in the fight against cancer. So a lot of these foods are just so nutrient rich. But another reason I like this gazpacho is because it's very low in calories, so it's definitely waistline friendly. Perfect for something at the beach. It's only 96 calories for a cup of this soup. So this is almost ready to go. We have our tomatoes for garnish. And now we're just going to add a little bit of sherry vinegar. Traditionally, sherry comes from the area of Jerez, is the way they pronounce it in Spain, but because the English sailors that brought it back couldn't pronounce Jerez, it became sherry. And regardless, it tastes delicious. It's a little bit sweeter than red wine vinegar. So I just added a little bit of olive oil because we want to keep the fat content low. But olive oil, of course, is a good kind of fat. Some salt and black pepper. Okay, so this is ready to blend up. We're going to save our little celery leaves here for some more beautiful garnish and for some added greenery on top. Give this a quick blend. how ripe your kiwis are. You can add a little bit of water if you want it smoother 
or just give it a stir if you want a little chunkier. I'm going to keep it chunky. So the soup is ready to go. You can see how super easy it is to put together. Now you can, of course, make this ahead of time, especially if you're going to be driving to the beach. You can pack it on ice. And if you want to turn this into a more complete meal, you can always put some grilled shrimp on top or grilled chicken to add more protein. This looks gorgeous. It's colorful. I can smell the vinegar and the onions. So savory. We'll top it a little tomato on top. And this is also a great thing to serve at an alfresco summer dinner party. Have a glass of chilled white wine. Very light, easy, beautiful. And you know, one of the goals with Healthy Cheats is really for you to learn simple ways to make beautiful food that's healthy and something that makes your guests feel like they're spoiled. So we have our celery leaves. I'm gonna top it off with just a little bit more olive oil. This really gives it that restaurant gourmet spin. So there you have it. I decided to feature this soup because of one of the viewers' comments. They were looking for more raw recipes. So I hope that they'll enjoy this sweet and spicy dish that's light and perfect for summer. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Jennifer Ezerlo for Healthy Cheats. To your health. I really like the comments, but I would love to get a video response. If I use it, I'll send you a copy of my book.